Uncle Jacinto. More with Hino doing the Toru. That means life, prosperity, health. This is a video showing how you can use the um, Medunetu translator to translate ancient text. And so you can read our ancestors' text. Um, okay, here go. Um, I'm going to just go to one of the pictures, some of the common pictures we see and everything of our ancient ancestors and everything like that. All right. It, it go um like what you do is you can just go and look at some of these um some of the uh, ancestors symbols and everything and then you can just go to the translator um like we can we can look in this picture here we see um you see this symbol here and this symbol here we can just go to the translator and click those symbols and here we are the translator we see this one here. That's that um bent over symbol. Um, okay. All you do is just go over here and you click it. Then you look here, what's the next symbol? That's the water ripple. You go to the translator, you find that symbol, and you click it. And what's happening is, over here on the side, you see this list of words. Every time you click a symbol, it shows you what words have that symbol in it. And we have clicked two symbols out of this list. We click the... um. The, what they call a folded cloth and the water ripple and it's showing us the words that's got that in there and some of these words are um, needed, keep, kept, keeping and health and showed and freedom and and meanness and free and little and and damage and these are some of the words that that, that could be but we can just go over here to the picture we see what's the next symbol and the next symbol is a is a foot and we click the foot we come over here to the translator we click this foot and now we done click three symbols that we seen on that um image and then after we done click three symbols we click the um this symbol we click this symbol and then we click that one and then now that we done enter three different symbols the computer is telling us, or the, the translator is telling us that um, health is what that word is. Synip means health. And that's what we see right here in our ancient ancestors picture is a word that means health right here. And that's that's how you can use the MetaNeta translator. You can pretty much just go through here and click on symbols. The next symbol we see is this right here. So we can click that. And just go one by one clicking the symbols that you see on the picture and then the, um, the translator will tell you what those symbols mean and it'll tell you what they mean once you put them together or you know based on the um, dictionary that it has and everything and here go um, some more um, of our ancestors text we see the I we can go find that and just click it and the um, translator will tell us about it okay that's how you um that's how you use it you just look at um uh, our ancestors ancient text or you can look at any metanetter or egyptian um ancient egyptian text um look at the symbols you see on there and click it then it'll tell us then it'll tell you what that symbol means like I just now click this symbol here and we all know what this one means um unk for life and then once I click that unk then over here on the side it shows me a list of words that has got unk inside of it and lord of life lives how 
life and the one that I that I'm looking for is life that's the one that I and that it looks most like then I can just click that and then now we got sent up unk inside of our box over here and then we can we can go and search or we can just go and look at more symbols of different pictures and everything here goes a symbol um we see a bird we see a, a one of these half circles and what they call these is a mouth or whatnot then all we gotta do is just go over here over here in the bird section it's, it's got um man it's got women it's got um the naturu and body parts and animals and and what we looking for is the birds so we see here the bird section is is inside of here and we click look for the bird that we just looked at we scroll down to it and this is the bird that we seen over there on that picture and what will happen is the translator will tell us it is a list of words that's got that bird in it and here it is and we got two words here it's got gray and and very and we see from what we can see here we see the bird we see the half circle and the one that looks like is this one right here very so we see sent up unk is very um you know great life and everything and here we see another symbol we can just go over to the translator we find that symbol on the um inside of here and and we know it's inside of this section you click here this enter you into this section into this area uh this type of symbols and then next you click what you've seen and then that puts it over into your box over here then once you got it in your box then it'll show you a list of words that's um that's related to that symbol a list of words that got that symbol inside of it and lead is what we um pretty much the word that we seen here and this is talking about um the the Nintaru leading us and everything and whatnot. Well pretty much that's that's how you translate ancient text um from ancient or uh, just looking at ancient picture just look at the symbols that you see on the picture find them over here and click it then it'll go over here into this box and you this list down here show you what symbols that could possibly mean then you can also explore our ancestors text also like this like um like if you want to just know um show me the words that got um let's see here show all the words that's got um that's got this little quail chick in it and you just go in here you click it and then this list over here going to instantly show all the words that's got that um quail chick. And we see here container and elephant and and skill and flames and crown and congo and bed and vibrate it, these are words here and then if you was to say well next I, I seen on the um I seen a bee in the picture or I seen that foot then you just go over here and you click you click the foot then the computer remembers you had done click quail chick you you had done click the little chick and then you click the foot and then now you done selected two of them and then it's gonna show you all the ones the words that it know that um that's got that and there's elephant and ivory and elephante and amazed and maze and amazing and good and fish and and pretty much it'll show you um as you just look at the symbols on the on the um image that you're trying to tr read and just click them over here and then it'll tell you which words um, got that symbol in it. Okay, do a Nataru.